Hello friends, how are you doing today and welcome to Bible Talk with Gutzler Man. I am your host Gutzler Man. It has been a very long time since I did a YouTube video and I wanted to come on here and I wanted to just say thank you for being uh, someone who uh, watches my videos and I'm sorry it has taken so long. Uh, I've done I've done actual uh, podcast within the last month, and I've explained on there that you know I want this to be something that the Lord leads me to do. I don't just want to get on here and do it, even though I'm reading scripture. I want it to have meaning. I don't want it to be just my voice, but the Holy Spirit's voice. I'm trying to work on that when I talk to people too, and. Uh, I believe I know that I'm almost a, a week out from Easter, but I wanted to I wanted to just do this one because I wanted to share with you that he it, it's not just Easter time that he has risen. He has risen and alive and a part of our life every single day. 365 days and 12 months out of the year. And uh, 52 weeks out of the year, you know, with that being said, uh, we're going to go with a very, very popular scripture about how uh, the women, Mary Magdalene and Mary went to the tomb to see Jesus so they could anoint him with the oil. And what they found when they got there is the stone was rolled away. Something you probably heard when you went to your church service on Easter Sunday. But I just wanted to read this again because this is all part of it. And I wanted to start with uh, Matthew 28. And this is what it says. It says, now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began uh, to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake and an angel from the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His consequence was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. And the guard shook for fear of him and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the women, do not be afraid for I know you seek Jesus who was crucified, but he is not here for he has risen. And he said, come see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples and that he is risen from the dead. Indeed, he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So verse 8 says, So they went out quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to bring his disciples word. Oh my goodness, like you know, I, I know you've heard it. I know you've studied it. I know you've went to church service. And this is probably something that <laughs> that you probably have on your mind because you just heard it, like I said. But it's it's something that we need to, to meditate on. Meditate on on a daily basis because the Lord has risen. And it's not just something we say on Easter. It's something we say every day of the week. Like I said, every single time that we wake up in the morning, we praise God because he is real. He is risen. He is listening to our fears and our joys. And he knows every single hair on our head. So it's just, you know, with that being said, we give him praise because he knows what we're going through. He knows what we're going through. And, and something that I've learned to accept in this past year is that he, he knows us. He knows what troubles we're going through. He knows what prayers we are saying because he hears us. And sometimes he'll say yes. Sometimes he'll say no. And sometimes he'll tell you to wait. And that's kind of what I have a problem with. I don't really have a problem with him saying no. I have a problem with him telling me to wait. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a lot of times as being a human, I don't want to wait. I want things to happen now. I want things to happen when I pray about something me as a human, I, I would expect to get an answer within a few couple days on how to take care of it. But 
the Lord does work in mysterious ways. I'm sure you've heard that saying. And that means that sometimes when he has us wait, it's for our own behalf. It's for our benefit and his glory. Everything he does is for our benefit. He loves us enough to send his only begotten son to die on the cross for a sin that we are guilty of so that we may have a choice to say no to sin and yes to following him and picking up our own cross. And that's what Easter is really all about, is about Christ, Jesus Christ, giving us the chance to tell sin no and to tell righteousness and Jesus Christ, yes. And nobody gets to the Father but through the Son, Jesus Christ. And when you tell Jesus yes, he will never leave you nor forsake you. I, as a human, me and my friends, me and my best friend, I mean, we know that there are times that we're going to let each other down. And me as a human, you know, I mean, it's just an understanding with other humans that we will let each other down. It's just how we are. But Jesus Christ will never, and listen to these words now, he will never let you down or leave you nor forsake you and let you down. It's, it's just, you know, it'll never happen. But what are those times I'm in a really, really hard time and I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place and I keep praying and praying and praying and hoping something gets better, but nothing does. And I have to keep doing and doing and doing what I'm doing. And it's something I shouldn't do, but I'm doing it to provide for my family. Well, you know what? Jesus knows what you're going through. And there may be a lesson that we have to learn. There may be a lesson or something that we have to see first. Maybe someone we witness someone else going through a lesson and then that really teaches us how to deal with it. But the Lord Jesus, now think about this. I know you've, you've heard this comparison too, but when you, that say you buy a new dishwasher and it starts not running right, you know, what do you do? You go to the owner's manual. If that doesn't work, you call the manufacturer to try to figure out what's going on, right? Well, God, the heavenly father, Jehovah himself, knows what we're going through. He created us and he knows what we need and he knows when we need it. Well, I just wanted to come on here and just touch base with you and make another YouTube video and tell you everyone that I am thinking about every single person. I am praying for all of you. You know, like I say in my podcast or I've said on here before, if you don't have a Bible and you want to study what you hear today, Please go to your local church or go to a best friend that you trust. Get a Bible from them. And there's always availability for Bibles out there that you can go and get. And you can buy one too if you want to pay for one at the store. That's, that's an option. But the risen Christ gives us that option. Well, it has been a pleasure. And remember to please Love God, love your neighbor, and love yourself. And until next time, bye-bye.